<laughs> um, all around the world, you move me, you move me. Little did I know when I wrote that, that my wild and improbable dreams of connecting on a global scale through music were about to become virtual reality. A reality that I think is just one example of a dawning new age of interactive, international, interpersonal, face-to-face -face entertainment and communication. But where does a girl living in the woods of Connecticut, you know, singing for the trees in the shadows of New York City get off dreaming of being a global music artist? Well, my mama always said, pick a dream bigger than a lifetime. That way you always have something to do. <laughs> and she also said, don't have a fallback, because you'll fall back on it. So after years of singing and writing and playing and pounding the pavement and paying my dues this summer, I found myself lugging my amps through the rain in the middle of nowhere upstate New York. <laughs> and that kind of rain can really dampen your spirits. So I knew I needed something to shake me out of my head and get me into my heart and get me out of this bed and get me on to a new start. So I came up with this uh, mantra, this little idea of laughing in the face of the lion. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> and we all have lions. It's a fear or a foe or an obstacle and all the reasons why your dream is not going to happen. And um, I thought maybe a laugh could bust open the doors better than a fist. Because suffering through your dream is no way to manifest it. And I had shed enough tears to know. So even though it looked like nothing had changed, something had changed inside. I had a gratitude shift. <laughs> and... I think this shift not only opened the cosmic floodgates to let what I was dreaming of come pouring in, but it also gave me a practical ability to see an opportunity where maybe others hadn't. So on the way to that same gig in the rain, my big brother called me from California, and he said, do you need an invitation to Google Plus? Maybe you could be one of the first musicians on there. And I was like, what's Google Plus? I gotta make sound check, bye. <laughs> but the next day, I signed up to Google Plus. Um, Google's new social networking service. And I saw this feature called the Hangout. And it's, that's a, a video chat where you can interact with and see up to 10 people at once. And so I looked at that and I thought, maybe I could play a concert through this without having to lug my amps through the rain. <laughs> and I even sent a message to the director of engineering for the Hangouts at Google named Chi Chu. And I told him my idea, and he actually wrote me back, which was really exciting, but he said, don't do that. <laughs> he was like, that's a bad idea. It wasn't built for that. Don't, don't do that. But I ignored him. <laughs> and and um, three days later, I stood in front of my computer in my producer's little studio in Connecticut, uh, ready to play our first Hangout concert. And at 8 o'clock on July 16th, I pressed a button that says start a hangout. And at 8.01, there was no one there. <laughs> and I thought, oh god, here's an old lion, no audience. But just then, a face popped in, and another, and another, and another. And they were from the UK, and Ireland, and Norway, and Sweden, and India, and Texas, and the Dominican Republic, and China. And they looked at me and said, so are you going to play? <laughs> And so that night, I saw the sunrise in Norway through this guy named Martin Screen. And, well, I was singing a song that I had written called Foreign Cities. And I saw these little girls dancing to my songs in Australia when it was Sunday morning there, and it was still Saturday night where I was. And I played and sang for six and a half hours straight as people rotated in and out of the front row seats, the 10 seats in the hangout. And so I toured the world in a night. And my heart was forever changed by the people that I met. <laughs> so uh, a week later, we played my second Hangout concert. And with a little help from the Google Plus community, I call them geniuses with a big G plus in it, um, we were able to stream it live so an unlimited number of people could watch. And that show was watched by 9,000 people in 100 countries. <laughs> So then we did my third Hangout concert, which we included another new innovation of integrating uh, YouTube Live. And so that gave us these little embeddable live players that were shared all over the internet. And 
That show was watched by over 200,000 people <laughs> around the world. As I <laughs> and I, I sang and laughed with them and, and played for eight hours straight. <laughs> I didn't want to let them go. <laughs> and, you know, it even inspired the latest evolution of the Google Plus product, which is now called Hangouts on Air. And so I basically went from playing for 25 people in a dive bar in upstate New York to an audience big enough to fill Wembley Stadium a few times over. <laughs> and we also uncovered a new tool, I think, for connecting people using some universal languages. Those are tweets that I got. <laughs> so music and technology are two universal languages. But I think maybe the truest human universal language is that of being moved. It's the goosebumps we feel and the, the rush, the sense of closeness when we connect face to face and heart to heart. It's when you look someone in the eyes and you think, I know you. <laughs> and, um, you know, the illusion of separateness dissolves. And the distance and the barriers of distance and culture and communication disappear. And so that's what I gained in translation. Because you move me like a symphony. You start a revolution inside me. And all around the world, we're moved. So I invited some friends. <laughs> and um, so we wanted to do a song for you together. Um, on green box me so you can see them. <laughs> and they're holding up signs. Yeah, guys, show, show the audience my friends in there and their signs. I know we got people in, if you ungreen box me, you'll get to see them. There you go. We got Ireland. <laughs> Woo! Hey, James. <laughs> and Chicago. And, well, there's Portugal. <laughs> so, oops. I just lost this. <laughs> so, yeah, that's Martin. That was his sunrise. So, um, is my mic on here? <laughs> so, can we get the keyboard and the instruments? Check, check, check. So, these are my friends, and these are their voices. This is my song, You Move Me. I'm so moved. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you.